from the ground to the top of the deck. To figure out your rise and your run, whatever the height is, that figure, you divide it out so you get equal steps somewhere between five to seven and a half inches. 28 inches work out with four steps. One, two, three, four. Four into 28 gives us seven. Seven inches, so that's number seven. We're gonna use on the framing square. Now we're gonna determine the run. The run is from here out as we go. If you want to use a 2 by 12, a 2 by 12 measures 11 and whatever, 3 eighths a half, you have to minus this figure a little bit so you have an overhang on your step. A nice inch and a half sticking out to this ideal. So if we're at 11 and a half inch plank, minus the three-quarter inch. So we would be at, what, nine and a quarter? No, we wouldn't either. Nine and three-quarter? Nine and three-quarter. Okay. Okay, then you take your framing square. And that's our numbers we use. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, four steps high. Four steps high? Four steps high, okay. The numbers on the square we're gonna use is nine and three quarter and seven. It's not gonna match our first drawing because we said 10 and a half. So you'd put seven and your number for here. But well, we're, we're simulating on the board here at 10 and a half. So seven, 10 and a half. And okay. we lay that out. One, two, three. Our board isn't long enough. We're supposed to have four. One more. But let's just imagine that it's flat. So you've got your mark cut like this. In your mind, you're visualizing that this part right here is your deck. So what we got to do is, is follow this line, cut it down, like that. Then you go up to your deck and you visualize how you're going to fasten this to the deck. You might want to run a, a two by four, cut into this each one and bolt that on if you got room, or you might have to cut a, uh, a notch like this that will fit up underneath. You got it. You got that figured out. Yep. Okay. Okay. Then, this is the cut line that would be right up here. Okay, just for the now video's the, sake, can you put, pretend this is the, the deck and lay this out just like... Can you shoot your camera from over there? Yeah. Okay. Seven up, the, up to there. Yeah, and then your cutout would be... Well, you'd have to see what, what you've got. Wherever you got. Okay, and down, down. down you, you might wanna, wanna cut something out of here to put a two by four into it so you can fasten it to the, the rib. Mm -hmm. Or you might wanna go like this and cut it out so it fastens up underneath this rim joist. Yep. Okay. Piece of cake. Now, 
Now, when At you the put your other end. Now, when you put your steps on. When you put your steps on, your steps will be like like this. And this is still seven inches from top of the step to the top of the next step. And so on until you get down to the bottom. So if I take here's here's your mark on the on the layout is seven. But when you put your plank on top, that seven gets way up to here. You have to cut it off whatever distance the thickness of this is. Shorter. Yep. You make this one not as high. Yeah. Then you to hold this thing together, you notch this out. So a two by four will ride in here. Mm -hmm. and then your your other one like this will be up or three of them, or whatever. Put the screws through from the bottom. And if you have to do that same thing on top, to set it up against the deck, run the screws in, do so. And then, cut your planks from a two by whatever you're gonna use. Lay them on. This usually is left open. Unless you're finishing in the house, then there would be a a riser board in here. And this is from a 2x10? Two 2x10 ten. Two ten and a 2x12 on top here. 2x12 steps. If you get too narrow, you're gonna you're gonna ride on your heel and you're you're gonna tip off. 